when I don't wear my glasses, are my contact lenses. And without either of them, I basically can't see anything. So one plus one is, let's make a game for blind people. So first I wrote down some ideas. Quickly I came up with a memory game, a sharpshooter game. Guitar Hero based on vibrations and pitch, and a game with choices. So the game with choices is supposed to be a story, and the player gets dilemmas, and the story develops and reacts to how the player makes his choices. Sort of like, hello, you're a wizard. You go into the forest, there's a dragon. Do you kill it? Or do you run away? And if you kill it, you get injured and you have to find a way to heal yourself again. Do you run away? Then you're not a credible wizard anymore and the wizard town will ban you forever. But of course, being the researcher I am, I started googling for ideas. Quickly, I came on this Reddit page where basically someone asks if there are any games that can be played together with a blind person. I wasn't sure if I'm smart enough to come up with something. Spoiler alert, I am. But I wrote it down anyway. Other than that, I didn't think of any more possible games for now. Time to design the layout of the game. Obviously, it needs to have big buttons where you can't accidentally press the wrong one. I took away Guitar Hero because I felt it would be too complicated and probably not very fun. And with four games left, this is what I came up with now. Then, after breaking Unity 10 times for absolutely no reason, and uh, spending about two hours trying to fix it, the show was finally on. The first game to work on was Memory. I decided to slice it in three parts, which the player will have to remember. I added in this nice loop function. And when testing it, I crashed the game. So, I had to fix it. I fixed it. Now it was time for some sound effects. Right. And I found Left. this awesome robot. Left. Left. It was quick and easy. Story of my life. But now it works. Game time. Welcome to memory. Remember Go. the middle. Go. Left. Right. Go. Left. Left. Middle. Go. Middle, right, right, left. Go. Right, middle, middle, right, middle. Game over. You scored five. High score is five. Press to play again. So the ID for sharp shooter that I had is that Basically, you click on the screen and it fires, and then with a the pitch sound, it tells you how far away the enemy is. So, you know, you press the button a few, the screen a few times, and then you kind of know where it is. And once you hit the enemy, it appears somewhere else, smaller. And then within one minute, you have to shoot as many as possible. Now, of course, I don't want the enemy appearing over the menu button or just outside the screen. I made these white bars that when the enemy comes in such a spot, it finds a new spot. But what happens? The white square that's supposed to be the enemy always hits a bar no matter what because it's too big. Like your kindness. But after a quick fix, it works. You're not supposed to see the enemy, but that's for later. The first idea was to play a gunshot and have the sound pitch up or down as you come closer. However, I felt like this wasn't a very good solution. And as you can see here, when I'm playing it myself without looking, I am doing everything totally wrong. So it took me about four hours trying to make this work, thinking of all kinds of solutions before I realized I need to come up with something else. And holy moly, it's awesome. Let me present you. Robo Left. And uh, look at this, we're actually shooting enemies by following a voice command. So after hiding the enemy, adding some menus, let's play. Start. Left. Right. Left. 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 Down. Right. Right. Left. Down. 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 Left. Down. Down. Left. Down. Down. Right. 
right up down up up left right up up left right right up up right left left up up left left right left 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 down up left left up left up right left you killed six terrorists your high score is zero now it was time for some more difficult games, multiplayer and choices. Let's start off with multiplayer. So time to figure out some ideas. I figured out that the blind person would be on the headphones, the seeing person on the phone, and that the blind person guides the seeing person to safety by saying the voice commands. Maybe not the funniest game to play, but it's the only idea I had. It would be a maze with directions and warnings spoken through audio so that the blind person can warn the seeing person. Enemy coming from the left! <laughs> In the end, this is what I wrote down and this is what I'm going to be working with. First was to draw out a maze and figure out some possible objectives for the player. Then I had to draw some amazing graphics. A grass like they have in a maze, a footpath and an enemy. Thank you, Eminem. I blow it in the game. And voila, we have a maze, guys. So this red square is supposed to be the player, but he's tired of my bad coding and decides to run away as fast as he can. So of course I did no. my magic. Sit. Stay. Roll over. And now it actually listens and does what it's supposed to do. Next up, I wanted to add a field of view like Bracky's shows here. After countless of text, looking at long videos and trying all kinds of assets, it became too dangerous to continue. So I threw this idea out of the window. I figured for now a small light source around the player is good enough. But yet I didn't really have a plan of what the player should be doing, so I made a storyline. So after drawing all these sprites, I had to come up with an enemy fight system. And what I came up with was basically this. The enemy appears and there will be one, two, three, four blocks around him. And basically a voice would tell the blind person in what direction the blocks have to be pressed and they have to repeat it to the seeing person. I know maybe it's kind of boring, but once again, it's the only idea I had. I got this. Right. And it works. Left. Up. Right. After this, I added a trap and a boss enemy that follows you while you have to try to escape. I didn't think it was nice that you would have to start over the entire game just you, because you get hit by the boss. So instead, I made it into a reset. And whoa, the player doesn't even have a chance to die before he gets killed again. So some quick mats. And it works much better now. And that's pretty much it. Time to try out. White key. Be careful of enemies. I forgot to add mobile controls. Whoa. Hey, Def Noob. Here we go, Def Noob. Thanks, Def Noob. We can try it out. This is a multiplayer. Find the white key. Be careful of enemies. Right. Right. Down. Left. White key received. Open the white door. Up. Left, 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 up, right, right. White door open, find the weapon. Right, up. Beat the monster guarding the golden key. Left, 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 down, right.
He tricked me. This is a multiplayer game. The visually impaired person has to wear headphones and guide the Next up, the choices game. I was thinking of a story where you're a wizard and you have to go through wizard school. Sounds familiar? You get to pick classes, the friendly one or the stronger one, and you have to win by getting the most points. I wrote on some statistics that increase or decrease with the choices you make, just like real RPG game. However, I'm not JK Rowling, and I can't think of any stories, so throw this OD out of the window as well. So next up, I was thinking of combining an RPG with an idle game. Players can fight enemies, win money, upgrade themselves and go on to fight stronger enemies. Health will be regenerated every 60 seconds. After throwing it all together, this is what it looks like now. Next up was the fight menu. And with the purple frog, that should be it. Now, of course, there needed to be fighting done. So what I did was I let the code run as long as either the player or the enemy is alive. I tested out and I froze Unity, the development program. But half an hour later I fixed it and we can fight some lizards. So now we need a timer to regenerate health every 60 seconds. The timer has to run even though the game is not being played. Exactly like all those popular idle games. After messing around with everything I know nothing about, I remember I saw this tutorial once where I commented, nice, I've always wanted to make an idle game for fun. So thanks to Game Dev Shack, link to the tutorial will be down below in the description. And voila, it works. I stole his code. However, I can't play it yet because it needs some text-to-speech for all the numbers. Scaffolds said, recording sounds is kind of fun. If it ever becomes possible, I recommend you to try it out. But after a bit of trying, left enemy. Right enemy, middle enemy. I decided text to speech should be for the entire game, but that's more difficult than you think. I found this asset with this example, which does the job pretty well, but since I don't understand how coding works, all my text to speech is with a Japanese accent. This is the way we speak. After spending some hours trying to fake this and going insane. I think I managed to make this work. I'm not sure if it will work on all devices, but I think so. At least for now, I can play DJ. Go back. Press again to go back. Three, two, one. Press again to go back. You fight menu. Press on the top bar. You won $25. Your health is now 90 in total. You won $25. You won $25. Won. You can now up. Press again to go to the main RPG menu. Your maximum health is now 101. Next, fight menu. Press on the top two lines. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Next video will be a first person shooter if I can do it. We'll see about that. That said, link of the game is down in the description box below. Try it out if you want. Unfortunately, it's only for Android right now. If you have any comments, suggestions or ideas for the game, please do let me know. That said, thanks for watching. Last time I built an RTS, so feel free to watch that video. See ya noobs.